So Hollywood just recorded one of its biggest fails ever in the Golden Globes 2021. I mean, the numbers here, they are so freaking low that we don't have the finalized numbers. We don't have the official stuff. Oh, no, we just have the preliminaries. That's unheard of, too. Basically, I don't think Hollywood knows how to spin this stuff right now. In a show that's been uncancelable, yeah, I think that CBS, they're probably going to start taking that hard look at it and wondering if they want to keep this thing around. Now, when I say fail, by the way, I want to make something very clear. I'm not talking about decline in numbers. I mean, you have declines in numbers. You have declines in ratings. In fact, last year, you had one of the lowest ratings in around eight years. Still, this year, we're talking about a drop-off of almost 60%. That's right. The numbers are so low. They don't know how to spend them right now. And yeah, I think that makes Ricky Gervais right. See, last year, Ricky Gervais, he took to the stage. People talked about it for weeks. Why? Because Ricky Gervais was blunt crude and honest. He told these people in no uncertain terms they needed to keep their egos in check, they needed to go out, they needed to accept their rewards, and they needed to be quiet about the other things. People, they're tired of them standing on the pulpit, and they're tired of them preaching. They decided, though, they're not going to listen. And, well, we're going to look at the outcome to that. Oh, man, fun times, huh? Fun times, indeed. Hey there to you, by the way. So, the TV ratings, this is from Hollywood Reporter, you see. Golden Globe's crater head for multi-year low. Now here they tell you right off the bat, the remotely staged ceremony, this is going to be how they blame it, by the way. They're going to say, oh, it had technical difficulties. You know, the setup, it was unfamiliar. It cut down on the comedy. That was right. But if you look at the numbers and you look at the fall off, that's not the end all be all. People weren't tuning into something else or avoiding it for that. People are just tired of it. Like I said, you can tell. But the remotely staged ceremony on Sunday falls more more than half compared to 2020. And again, if you look at the headlines here, the ratings from that, they were down only slightly, but as far as viewership, it hit an eight-year viewer low. So here, the ratings for the Golden Globes crashed hard Sunday with early numbers. Again, like I said, these are preliminary figures because they won't release the hard numbers to us. Again, they don't know how to spin this, but the early numbers for the ceremony coming in far below last year's telecast. Fast national ratings, which aren't fully time zone adjusted and are not entirely accurate. So again, these will come in. They'll be adjusted. I wonder, by the way, when they adjust them, I wonder how much they adjust and tweak, how much they lie about it. But they show NBC's broadcast averaging just 5.42 million viewers and a 1.2 rating in key ad demographics among the 18 to 49 year olds. Both of those numbers, they're down by more than 60% from the preliminary figures from last year. Hmm. Now, to give you an idea of just how bad things are, I didn't want to pull up just the 2020 numbers. Oh, no. I want to pull up 2009 to 2020 to really give you an accurate depiction of just how dire this situation is. Now, we're reading this, by the way. We're going to ignore the first bracket here. This will be household rating. That, it's important to a degree. But really, what you're aiming for is that 18 to 49 rating. If you can't get the 18 to 49-year-olds, well, you might as well hang it up. Also, you want to pay attention to the viewers in millions. Now, first things first, let's look at the viewership in millions. If you look at this, you have your lowest recorded, 2009, at 14.86 million. Again, 15 million is nothing to scoff at either. If you'll notice this here, you have a little bit of ebb and flow, but your numbers, they pretty much maintain over 18 million for quite a few years. So this number, it stayed consistent. CBS, they pretty much know what they can bank on here. The same thing goes for these numbers. I mean, we're talking about the 18 to 49 year demographic. You're talking over 4.5 always. I mean, the check, it's in the proverbial mail. You have a 4.9. That was your lowest in 2009 until last year. Last year, you came in at a 4.7, but still, this was considered okay. You're not talking about cancelable at all. Now, granted, those numbers will adjust some. I mean, after all, like I was saying, the numbers that we saw, a 4.7 and over 18 million viewers, the preliminary figures, you had a few million viewers off, and you had about a point discrepancy. So, 
if you were to add those up and to guess, we would probably have around 10 million viewers and around a two point something in rating. That, again, that is an epic disaster when we get down to it. Now, to really tell you how bad these numbers are, by the way, just listen to this part here. I mean, this is so bad. The last time the Golden Globes had anywhere near this small of an audience, it was in 2008, when the writer's strike forced the cancellation of the usual star pack ceremony. The televised press conference, so you were talking about it competing with a press conference, announcing the winners, drew a little over 6 million viewers. Again, Again, they're talking about comparing it not to a full show with stars and everything. No, they're talking about comparing it to a glorified press conference. Making matters worse, look at this. It wasn't even the most watched show on Sunday. CBS is 60 minutes, so 60 minutes outdoes their star-studded ceremony. It pulls in 7.92 million viewers. The freaking Equalizer, so the Equalizer looks like it might have outperformed. Formed it. It pulls 7.58 million viewers, and ABC's American Idol at 6.47 million are all currently ahead of the Globes. Now, all of this, by the way, should be a wake-up call for Hollywood. I mean, after all, this is the new trend. You're talking about numbers that are going to fall, and they're going to keep falling. You can see this mentioned here. The steep declines for the Golden Globes are in keeping with a recent trend amongst award shows. In the past six months, the CM AMA Awards, the Academy of Country Music Awards, and the American Music Awards, they have all declined by at least 30% in total viewers, while the Primetime Emmy Awards in September dropped by 9% in viewers and 23% in 18 to 49 demographic. Now, what's funny is that last year, they blamed it on the NFL. They said, hey, we have a playoff game that's going up against us, therefore our numbers, surely they were going to be down, right? Okay, well, what's the excuse this year. You have nothing up against you. You saw the shows that were competing, and you have more people at home. They don't have anything to do. More people are tuning into TV than ever before, and yet you still can't secure them. So what's the excuse now? I think a lot of celebrities know the jig is up, too. I mean, after all, you're seeing more and more of them try to go online, be personable, be funny, show you that they're not part of big Hollywood, but you know what? They are. People understand that, too and they're tired of watching them back padding on. I don't know, though. Maybe you can tell me what's up. Is there any way that they can secure this back? Let me know in the comments. And as always, you make this stuff possible. Never forget that. Whether that's a YouTube channel, a Hollywood show, you make it possible. So they can say whatever they want, but at the end of the day, they cannot succeed without you. So thank you for tuning into this. I appreciate the heck out of you. And if you want to help the show out, there are links in the description. But you just being here, that helps out. So thank you. I appreciate that and we will see you soon.